Hello, and welcome to the Minnesota Pollution Control Agency's Chemical Additive Process Overview. The MPCA has made recent changes and updates to the Chemical Additive Review process to enhance your experience with the additive review process. A recent survey showed that many of you are experiencing a wide variety in the amount of time it takes to get an additive approved. The survey also reported that knowledge in regards to chemical additives and associated permit requirements varied. As a reminder, if you have a National Pollutant Discharge Elimination System, State Disposal System, or an NPDES SDS permit, your permit requires you to receive prior authorization from the MPCA before you use chemical additives to treat your wastewater. It is this additive review process that is being updated and enhanced to allow for a more efficient and transparent process which will improve your experience with the review process and also continue to protect water quality and the environment. You might be asking yourself, how do I get my additives approved? It is important to note that if you have already received approval for an additive and have a record of that approval from the MPCA, you do not need to run your additive through the calculator tool. I'll talk more about this tool in a moment. If you want to use a new additive or increase the dosage on a currently approved additive, then you need to run your additive through the calculator tool. But before you run your additive through the calculator tool, be sure you check the pre-approved additive list first. There is now a list of pre-approved additives which do not need to be run through the calculator tool. You can find this list on the MPCA's website. If your additive is found on this pre-approved list, then submit the additive name, the max dosage, your permit number, and your facility name to the MPCA. You will submit this information to us through email. It is important to note that use of these pre-approved additives can change the water quality of your effluent. Please see the pre-approved list of additives for more information on this. Also, please be aware that there is a list of banned ingredients found on the same forms. These are ingredients or chemicals that would never receive approval from the MPCA. So if your additive or the dosage of your additive has not received prior approval from the MPCA and it is not found on the list of pre-approved additives, then you need to run your additive through the calculator tool. The calculator tool is an Excel spreadsheet found on the MPCA website. You need to fill this spreadsheet out and email it to the MPCA. There is a guidance document that walks you through the calculator tool and within the guidance document and the calculator tool, all information required for an approval is specified. Once the MPCA has approved your additive, you will receive notification. If you are looking at testing out some new additives but are unsure if you will want to use them on a long-term basis, you may test run these additives up to a maximum of seven days. If you plan to test additives, you need to let us know the name of the additive and the dates they'll be used. Email this information to us. No further approval beyond this notification is required for additives on a trial basis. If you do decide you want to use the additives long term, then you must run them through the steps described earlier in this video. Finally, if you have any questions at all about the chemical additive review process or anything in this video, please feel free to contact the MPCA staff listed on the calculator tool spreadsheet or again email the MPCA. There's a calculator tool guidance video that will walk you through the calculator tool step by step showing you exactly what you need to do to fill the spreadsheet out.